All right, so in this video, we want to implement a sort of progress indicator. Right now, we have no delay on page switch. Let's go to our web.php and on this home page, I'm going to use the slip function, which would delay the progress of our code and it would take a number as the seconds. So I'm saying sleep for two seconds and then run this statement, which is rendering our home view. So let's see when I click on the home page. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a blue bar here. So let me zoom in. So I'm on the about page, go to the home page. You see this blue bar here. So by default, inertia handles these requests that are taking longer than usual. So it is showing us that progress indicator. And if we go to the documentation, there is a section down here, progress indicator, and we have the ability to change the properties of that indicator. So let's just copy this progress option here and go back to our application, open app.js and paste it right after the setup option. So this is another option available on the create inertia app. So far we have title, resolve, setup and progress. And then we have a few properties here. We have the delay property, which would delay the progress bar from showing. I don't want this one. We can get rid of it. Then we have the color. We can change it to anything we want. Let's say red, or we can pass hexadecimal. So basically CSS color codes. Then we have include CSS. So if it is true, we are going to see the default CSS options. If we change it to false, then we need to include our own CSS. So I'm going to keep it as true. Then we have the show a spinner. By default, it is false. And let's keep it false for now. And we will come back to it in a moment. Let's go back to the website and go to the about page, back to the home page. We see the progress bar, which is red. And if we change the show a spinner to true, and let's do this process again on the home page, you see now we have a spinner on the top right corner. So this is really nice that we don't have to include any of this by ourselves, just by providing this option in our create inertia app function. And you can of course customize it. If you go back to the documentation, there is a section here for customization, but I'm really happy with the way it is right now. And we could even change the color. For example, I change it to white. There we go. So it looks much nicer. All right, so that's all about progress indicator, quite easy.